voulez la parole, M. Agnew Would you like to speak, Mr. Agnew And Yes, I would like... Sorry, have... sorry, 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 sorry. Chairman, I would like to raise a point of order on the very last vote that you took. Our voting lists show a pair of votes, two votes, and yet you only call for one vote. I was waiting for the second. Uh, the interpreter didn't say that you were consolidating these two votes. Apparently it was decided at the coordinators' meeting there would be two votes, but only one was taken. And as I was going to vote differently on both of them, I ended up voting the wrong way. And one or two other staff members for other MEPs have said the same thing. Décidément, M. Agnew, vous êtes un emmerdeur. Mais, euh, en effet, en effet, j'aurais... J'aurais dû vous faire voter. Well, you're quite right. I should have uh, had you vote twice. But I, well, I put them together uh, on the resolution for the United Nations. That's what you're talking to. You're talking about, Mr. Agnew, isn't it? Yeah. Well, so it's, it's a point of order then. But you are quite right. You, you, we should have voted on both those points. On peut leur faire voter. So we can vote on it again, if you like. That's possibly the, the easiest. So can you put your cards back in, please? Décidément, Monsieur Agnew, vous venez pas souvent, mais vous venez. Well, you you don't you don't come, you don't come very often, but uh, you have a difficult presence from time to time. But uh, we like to see you here anyway. So, my dear colleagues, we are going to vote once again. Uh, and I, I know it's going to be adopted anyway. For those who are here now, we're going to vote on the two parts. So it's two issues. So first of all is the vote on the oral question. So the vote is open. <laughs> Don't worry. Right, the vote's closed on that one. Who hasn't voted? Ulrika, you're voting in favour. Okay, you're voting in favour, okay, thank you. Voting is closed. And that's obviously adopted. Uh, unanimously, apart from the one abstention, Mr Agnews. Uh, as before, and now we move on to the next point, which is the vote on the draft motion for resolution. And he, okay, here we go. The vote is open. Everybody's voted. Okay, no, still two to vote. Are we there? Okay, everybody's voted. I hope you haven't forgotten to vote this time, Mr. Agnew. Okay, vote is closed. And the resolution is adopted by 16 votes to one, Mr. Agnews, I suppose. Thank you. No problem. It's exactly the same thing as before. Well, it's exactly the same result as before, but there we are. That's fine. Now we'll move on to the next point on our agenda, which is an exchange of views. Goodbye, Mr. Agnew. <laughs> Mr. Agnew, goodbye. Merci d'être venu, Monsieur. Thank you for coming. <laughs> No, Mr. Monsieur Agnew has cette particular. Mr. Agnew, of course, is somewhat particular. He's uh, he's both British and uh, and quite a card. <laughs> no, I, of course, not. Just making just making making a comment in passing. I'm not including you, Ricardo. I was thinking about those who are f in favour of Brexit. Uh, not those who are like you, Richard, uh, actually fought against it.